Hello everyone, Sharice Johnson Moore here with the contest alert. Yes, it is contest, baby. Okay, so be the hundred person to sign up for Sharice and Johnson Moore's podcast on Spotify and win a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. It's just this simple. One, follow our podcast on Spotify. Two, stay tuned for engaging content and inspiring episodes. Three, be the luckiest hundred follower. Two, enjoy joy shopping on Amazon with your gift card. Don't miss out on this exciting opportunity. Sign up today and join our growing community. So, want to put some rules out. This has nothing to do with Spotify. It's not affiliated with Spotify. Uh, Spotify has uh, no shape or form involved in this contest. Okay? And you must send me an email to snjm at sharicenjohnsonmore.com and in your subject line you must say I subscribe in your subject line so that's all you have to do come on and be the 100th person to sign up for Sharice and Johnson Moore's podcast on Spotify only and win a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. Oh, you also get to appear on the show. You also get to appear on the show, whoever the 100th person to sign up for the Spotify, uh, sign up on Spotify, and uh, you will be able to be a participant on the show. That's an additional prize. So don't miss out on this excited opportunity. Sign up today and join our growing community. All right now, let's get busy. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Sharice Johnson Moore here with your daily devotional for today. And we are reading 2 Chronicles chapter 13, 1 through 22. Abijah reigns in Judah. Abijah reigns in Judah. It also recounts the reign of Abijah, the king of Judah. It highlights Abijah's battle against Jerobim, the king of Israel. Abijah stands on Mount Zemiria and delivers a powerful speech to Jerobium and his troops, reminding them of God's covenant with David and urging them to turn away from their idolatry. Despite being outnumbered, Abijah's faith in God leads to a decisive victory for Judah. As God intervenes and Jerobium's forces are defeated, the chapter concludes with the strengthening of Abijah's reign and his successful consolidation of power. So I want you to come on and get your pen, your paper, pad, or however you keep your notes. And come on, let's let's see how we can apply what we learn in the Word today in our daily living. All right, come on now. Let's get busy. Second Chronicles chapter 13, 1 through 22, and it reads, Now in the 18th year of King Jerobeam began Abijah to reign over Judah. He reigned three years in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Machiah, the daughter of Uriel of Gibeah. And there was war between Abijah and Jerobeam. And Abijah set the battle in array with an army of valiant men of war, even 400,000 chosen men. Jerobeam also set the battle in array against him with 800,000 chosen men, being mighty men of valor. And Abijah stood up upon Mount Zemariah, which is in Mount Ephraim, and said, Hear me, thou 
Jerobeam, and all Israel. Ought ye not to know that the Lord God of Israel gave the kingdom over Israel to David forever, even to him and to his sons by a covenant of salt? Yet Jerobeam, the son of Nebet, the servant of Solomon, the son of David, is risen up and hath rebelled against the Lord, against his Lord. And there are gathered unto him vain men, the children of Belial, and have strengthened themselves against Rehobim, the son of Solomon, when Rehobim was young and tender-hearted and could not withstand them. And now ye think to withstand the kingdom of the Lord in the hand of the sons of David. And ye be a great multitude, and there are with you golden calves, which Jerobeam made you for gods. Have ye not cast out the priests of the Lord, the sons of Aaron and the Levites, and have made you priests after the manner of the nations of other lands? so that whosoever cometh to consecrate himself with a young bullock and seven rams, the same may be a priest of them that are no gods. But as for us, the Lord is our God, and we have not forsaken him, and the priests which minister unto the Lord. Are the sons of Aaron and the Levites wait upon their business and they burn unto the Lord every morning and every evening burnt sacrifices and sweet incense the shubri also set they in order upon the pure table and the candlestick of gold with the lamps thereof to burn every every evening for we keep the charge of the people Keep the charge of the Lord our God, but ye have forsaken him. And behold, God himself is with us for our captain, and his priests with sounded sounding trumpets to cry alarm against you. O children of Israel, fight ye not against the Lord God of your fathers, for ye shall not for ye shall not prosper. But Jerobeam caused an ambushment, ambushment to come about behind them. So they were before Judah, and the ambushment was behind them. And when Judah looked back, behold, the battle was before and behind. And they cried unto the Lord. And the priests sounded with the trumpets. Then the men of Judah gave a shout. And as the men of Judah shouted, it came to pass that God smote Jerobeam and all Israel before Abijah and Abinadjah and Judah. And the children of Israel fled before Judah, and God delivered them into their hands. And Abinadjah and his people slew them with a great slaughter. So there fell down slain of Israel five hundred thousand chosen men. Thus the children of Israel were brought under at that time, and the children of Judah prevailed, because they relied upon the Lord God of their fathers. And Abinadab pursued after Jerobeam, and took cities from him, Bethel, with the towns thereof, and Jeshuana, uh, with the towns thereof, and Ephraim, with the town thereof. Neither did Jerobeam recover strength again in the days of Abinadab, and the Lord struck him, and he died. But Abinadab waxed mighty and married fourteen wives and begat twenty and two sons and sixteen daughters. 
and the rest of the acts of Abinadab and his ways and his sayings are written in the story of the prophet Edu. I have just read 2 Chronicles chapter 13, 1 through 22. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for all that you have done. All that you have do, you, you are doing right now, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for the breath in our bodies and activity of our limbs. And we are in our right minds for today. For we know, Lord, that you stand with us through all, through all, through all. You will not lead us, nor for, you will not, you will not forsake us in what we do if it is if it is right by you. Lord, we thank you for all that you have uh, done for us, all that you're going to do. And Lord, may you add a blessing to the reading of your word. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen and amen and amen. chapter and this chapter is how it is <laughs> you know when you stand up for what is right God is with you we see that Benajah in standing up for the Lord in the, for the people. And, you know, he's telling about Jerobium and, and he's got false, got, got the people worshiping false gods and, he, you know, he's doing all this adultery and things like that. He's taking, you know, he's taking these things from the people that were following God when they were with Rehobium. Rehobium. Where, you know, and Jerobium is like I said, the stranger that come out, come from come from out, come from far away, and they got the people all tricked up. Cause Jerobium wasn't brought up with you know, he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't living in the same environment. And sometimes your environment can dictate what you do later on in life. And Abinadjah, he he go, he says, you know, he talks to his troops and he says, look, you know, you're doing right by God. And we know God got this and we should not be afraid. He gives this speech. And he talks to them and tells them, you know, God is with you. It's a, it's a, it's a kind of speech that mo- it's a motivational speech to keep them from being afraid. Cause Jerobium got more troops than Abinadab, but because Abinadab is on the lower side, God protects them. And when you make God your priority in life, nothing can come up against you and prosper. Nothing can come up against you and prosper. You got to remember that. No matter who, what, when, how, or no matter what comes up against you, it shall not prosper. It shall not prosper. It it won't, it just won't work. It just won't work. You know, even though they are a benajah and all the people have gone and they um, live somewhere else and they have taken, you know, they live so what they still worship God, regardless of they in, in the temple or not. No matter where you go, always keep God first, regardless of where you move to, 
regardless of where you're at, what environment you're in, a change of space, a change of area, a change of change. Always keep God first and maintain his statutes and commandments and, and, and laws and rules. Because sometimes that's all you get. Sometimes that's all you all you got. You, sometimes when we feel like everything is against us, we know that we can depend on God. We go to we go to God for everything. And as long as we keep God first, He will not leave us nor forsake us. We see that in this chapter. It didn't matter where they was at, Abinadab and the priests and Levites and stuff. They didn't care. They still worship God. They didn't need no temple. See, that's the thing. That's 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 the thing that we as we as God fearing people, it shows us that we don't need a church to dwell in to keep God in our lives. It shows us it's God. It's God. It's the God within where God is. Of God abides within your life that counts and matters. You know, that counts and matters. Um, Everybody say, let go church. You, know, you need to go church. You need to go church. But what if you didn't have a church? What if you didn't have church home? What if you didn't go to church? What if you were like, no, you couldn't, you couldn't get to church? What if it was you couldn't get to church and you was disabled or handicapped? You know, or you just, you know, I say it like this. Church can be the kind of place where it's not really friendly. Because you got so many good saints. You got the saints and the ain'ts. And, you know, and and, and they so judgmental. And they, they supposed to be so saved and so sanctified and things like that. And, they, you know, and then they... You, you know how it is. They still living. They still got minds of carnality. Still got minds of spitefulness. They still living in the world. They, 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 uh, they, uh, I got this fake face on, this mask. I want to be a Christian on Sunday. Hey, girl, how you doing, you know? And then go home Monday through Saturday and be the hatefulest people. And sometimes they don't even wait till Sunday. I mean, they don't. They don't even. They, sometimes people just like that all the time. And the thing is, is that no matter where we at, we always should carry Christ with us. We always should act godly. Abba, uh, uh, Abinadab didn't. They didn't need no temple. They didn't need no. No, all the they didn't they didn't need no golden temple, no golden shield. They didn't need no. Oh, we gotta worship, you know this that they did everything outside. Basically, they went back. The group that was with Abinadab went back to the basics, which was outside. They they didn't need no temple. They didn't need all that. They didn't. Need, they went back to the basics when they worshiped God. I don't need no gold, I don't need no flour, I don't need so I don't need none of that other foolishness. As long as I take God with me, that's what matters. And nothing, you know, even though Jerobium had more uh, troops than Abinadab, it, it didn't matter. It didn't matter how many men, how many women, how many whatever. They just got, they, the, Lord, the Lord said, okay, uh, Abinadab is on my side. Is still worshiping me regardless if they are in the temple or not. They're still doing my commandments. They're still doing what I asked them to do. They're still being faithful. And I will support them in everything that they do. I will support them in everything that they do. Hey, you know, that's how it is. You know, that's that's how it is. No weapon against no weapon shall form against you self proper. That that is formed against you self shall prosper. So keep the faith today. Keep your eye in the word. 
you know, don't let nothing and nobody deter you from what God asked you to do. Don't get distracted. Don't get don't get around a gerobium and end up tricked up, bamboozled, and hoodwinked. Because it look good, it sound good, it, 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 you know, it got a pretty picture on it, it got a pretty face, it got a pretty, he handsome, he this, he that. Uh, oh, you know, maybe I should go over here and do this, and do this. And, and, you know, don't let people talk you out of your gift. Don't let nobody talk you out of your gift or your, or your vision God has set for you. And sometimes you can't share your vision or the gift God gave you with everybody. Because people, some people get jealous and talk you out of something. And then they'll take your idea, steal it, and put themselves and go on about their business. And also calls for discernment. Discernment of God, who are the right people I'm supposed to deal with? Is this person good or bad? Am I supposed to deal with the person or not? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Are they are uh, is it like that? You know. So, like I said, go ahead and you know get get it together and and do what you gotta do for yourself. You know, keep God first. Get distracted by all this, what the outside look like, and then you also gotta listen to their words or what they say, what a person say, and how it sounds. Does it ring in your spirit? Yes, or does it ring in your spirit? No, I ain't. Uh, uh-uh. uh. This, this don't even sound right to me. And we can't entertain everything that's brought to our ears and our eyes, cause they be lies. Okay. I love you all, and I want y'all to have a blessed day, okay? And go and do the will of God, no matter if you are alone or not, okay? Sometimes we got to go that road alone, and you're really not alone. You're with God. God got you, okay? All right, I love you all. Have a blessed day. Hello everyone, Sharice Johnson Moore here with the contest alert. Yes, it is contest, baby. Okay, so be the hundred person to sign up for Sharice and Johnson Moore's podcast on Spotify and win a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. It's just this simple. One, follow our podcast on Spotify. Two, stay tuned for engaging content and inspiring episodes. Three, be the luckiest hundred follower. Two, enjoy joy shopping on Amazon with your gift card. Don't miss out on this exciting opportunity. Sign up today and join our growing community. So, want to put some rules out. This has nothing to do with Spotify. It's not affiliated with Spotify. Uh, Spotify has uh, no shape or form involved in this contest. Okay? And you must... Send me an email to snjm at sharicenjohnsonmore.com. And in your subject line, you must say, I subscribe in your subject line. So that's all you have to do. Come on and be the 100th person to sign up for Sharice and Johnson Moore's podcast on Spotify only and win a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. Oh, you also get to appear on the show. You also get to appear on the show, whoever the 100th person to sign up for the Spotify, uh, sign up on Spotify, and uh, you will be able to be a participant on the show. That's an additional prize. So don't miss out on this excited opportunity. Sign up today and join our growing community. All right now, let's get busy. Hello, incredible listeners. It's Sharice here, your host at Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast. 
and I'm thrilled to have you with us for another inspiring episode. Today, I have an exciting opportunity to share with businesses, brands, and fellow podcast enthusiasts out there. Cherise Johnson Moore's podcast has become a hub for positive conversation, personal growth, and inspiring stories. Our listeners are engaged, passionate, and eager to discover new products and services that align with their values. And now we're opening up the doors for advertising partnerships. If you have a product, service, or message that resonates with our audience, we love to feature it on our podcast. Why advertise with us? Well, you'll get exposure to a diverse and dedicated audience. Your brand showcased in a positive and uplifting environment and the chance to be part of a community that believes in making a difference. We offer various advertising packages to suit your needs, from sponsorship segments to product placements and everything in between. It's a fantastic way to connect with our, our listeners and let them know about what you have to offer. If you're interested in advertising on Sharif Johnson Moore's podcast and being a part of a space that values authenticity and positivity, reach out to us at snjm at sharifnjohnsonmore.com and let's discuss how we can collaborate and create something amazing together. I'm genuinely excited about the possibilities of featuring your brand on our podcast. Together, let's inspire, uplift, and make every episode an incredible experience for our listeners. Thank you for considering Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast for your advertising needs. I can't wait to hear from you and share your story with our wonderful community. Hello, everyone. Hello, 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 beautiful souls. It's Sharice Johnson Moore here, your host of Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast, along with other uh, different shows that we have on this podcast, such as Daily Devotional, Morning Word and Worship, Let's Talk Sunday, Entrepreneurial Corners, and Authors Excerpt Sunday. Today, I'm reaching out to our incredible listeners for an opportunity that's close to my heart. Producing this podcast is a labor of love, and I'm truly grateful for the support you've shown so far. As we continue to grow and evolve, I'm excited to invite you to be an even more integral part of this journey. Your contributions can play a vital role in helping us maintain the quality of content you love. If you've ever thought about supporting Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast, now's the perfect time. We've made it simple. If you enjoy our podcast and would like to contribute, you can do so through our PayPal link in the description box. Your donation, no matter how small, goes directly towards the production and improvement of our episodes. You can go to PayPal dot me backslash s n j m o o r e paypal dot me backslash s n j m o o r e to make your donations simply just give and and you will be making a contribution that is it quick and easy every donation makes a significant difference I want to take a moment to express my deepest gratitude to each and every one of you. Your support means more than words can convey. I'm honored to have you as part of our podcast family. If you're unable to contribute financially at this time, your support is still invaluable. You can help by sharing our podcast with your friends, family, and on social media. Every bit counts. Thank you for your consideration of supporting Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast. Your generosity allows us to continue creating content that uplifts and inspires. 
Here's to more episodes filled with positivity and growth. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. And everyone have a blessed day. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I want to say thank you for listening to the podcast for this morning of Daily Devotional. I pray that you have a very blessed day. And remember that God loves you, he cherishes you, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Okay? And I love you, and I will talk to you again tomorrow for our meetup for Daily Devotional. All right now, go out and conquer the day. With God on your side, all things are possible. Okay? All right. Talk to y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye, babies.